Well, whenever I set up a scene in iClone, I always obviously want to render something I would like to see. I always love jungle pictures and uh, Tarzan films and uh, Lost Cities, things like that. So I always just try to find in iClone what I can use and what I can get easily to set up the scene. As you can see, it's a pretty simple layout for this opening shot. Use some of the uh, fantasy rocks available from Real Illusion. Found uh, some props on the uh, Tremble 3D warehouse, retextured them, built some of my own props. That arch there I built. Uh, of course, the biosphere has got great trees. The banyan tree cluster is awesome. These columns came out, uh, I think they came with Real Illusion, with the iClone. Of course, then take the avatars, retexture them, set them up, create the scene, and play with the cameras. Of course, the uh, water effect is great for adding to the jungle look. I added some particle effects, gave it some fog. Uh, also used the fog in the atmosphere to give it a little tint of green to create even a more jungle look. So uh, that kind of helped with the atmosphere and gave it a uh, definite jungle creepy look. I think it came out okay. In the second scene inside the dungeon, of course, it's all about mood and setting the mood, using lighting as much as possible to create the illusion of depth and shadow. And uh, we've got a little bit of a blue background, a little fill. We've got a backlight on her causing a shadow on the wall. Got a little bit of fill on the face just to make sure it doesn't go too dark. Uh, we've got, of course, now we're adding the orb and it has a green light that tracks with it and helps cast a greenish glow. And uh, once again, creating the mood in the scene. Sound effects are going to be crucial here and uh, hopefully the element of surprise a little bit when the Daz monster jumps out. But those are the things, as you can see, that help. I use lots of cameras, don't necessarily use them all, but I like to add lots of cameras and take a look at uh, what's my best possible angle, and then I'll pick and choose which camera to uh, render out. I'm going to bring up the work light so now you can see the beautiful Dungeon Builder set props available from Real Illusion that are just awesome. And now you can see how they're all laid out and where certain lights are casting uh, glows and shadows. You can see my cameras. We've got a special effect explosion going to happen here before the Daz monster jumps in. There he goes. And uh, It's all about mood and uh, lighting I think is crucial in any given scene quite like this.